Hey, what's going on? In this video, you are going to learn the basics of how to use Terraform to automatically provision and manage infrastructure. You'll be building a small web hosting setup as a learning project, two web servers and a load balancer. What you're seeing right now is actually the entire infrastructure being created and configured with a single command. By the end of the tutorial, you'll understand the basics of working with Terraform, including topics like providers, resources, provisioners, templates, and variables. That's kind of the base package you need to start being productive with Terraform and learning it uh, more deeply. Just a quick note, this tutorial is divided into several sections. Uh, there was a lot more material than I originally planned, and I was kind of unwilling to cut out any of the details. You kind of need all of it to start being productive with Terraform. So definitely take an hour and work through all the different sections of this tutorial. If you want to skip or rewatch something, just open up the video description and click the timestamp or link for the topic that you actually want to skip want to skip to. So just to give an overview, here are the five sections that this tutorial is divided into. In the first section, the one you're watching right now, we just go over what Terraform is. In the second video, we're going to set up all the basics that we need to do this project. Things like a digital ocean access token, setting up an unencrypted SSH key, uh, and actually installing, dolling Terraform. That'll be a quick video, and by the end, you'll just kind of be ready to go. The third section is going to be creating and running our first Terraform project, uh, which is just creating a simple web server. The fourth section is going to be adding infrastructure, a second web server, and actually a load balancer. And in the fifth section, we're going to talk about testing and destroying the infrastructure, a couple of parting notes, uh, where to go from here, how to build on this project, what to keep in mind when using Terraform, that kind of stuff. Let's talk prerequisites. Terraform is not a beginner's topic necessarily. I recommend that you follow along in a Linux environment, but Mac OS and Windows are fine too. You do need to understand the basics of working in a shell, and you need to have a basic grasp of like sysadmin concepts like services, configuration files, variables, that kind of stuff. If that's all over your head, you might want to just come back to this in a few months. I'd also like to, to give a huge thank you to DigitalOcean for sponsoring this video and kind of making it possible for me to take the time to do it. It's actually pretty serendipitous. I was writing them an email, literally, as I got the email from them saying, hey, we should maybe work together. So. Yeah, I'm super pumped. I was actually going to use, don't tell them this, but I was going to use DigitalOcean for this anyway because Dio is, I think, the, the cloud provider that's the easiest to get started with. They've got a fantastic API, great documentation, services that make sense. They are not super complicated to start with. And it's kind of the only cloud that makes it easy to go from this is my learning project to this is an MVP that some people are actually going to use to oh, like we can run a real business on here and handle production traffic. Uh, if you don't have an account yet, I mean, we will be using DigitalOcean for this tutorial. Uh, if you want to follow along, I do have an affiliate link in the description of this video. So fair warning, yes, you will get some credit. I will get some credit when you sign up. Uh, everybody's happy. So we'll get started in the next video.